Hyundai is positioning itself towards becoming an aviation hub for the region with the government investing heavily in aviation infrastructure development. Rwanda has injected 19 million US dollars to the expansion of the Kigali International Airport and 818 million US dollars in the construction of the new Bugesera Airport. We earlier on got a chance to speak to our industry experts on the sidelines of the fifth annual aviation and airport expansion summit. Here's more. The Rwanda Development Board continues to prioritize the aviation industry, even going as far as setting a zero tax levy for companies with regional headquarters in the country. The Airport Expansion Summit is timely, coming at a time when the Aviation Summit also seeks to address challenges faced by African airports on the continent. Uh, in this moment we are in the, in the earliest stage. Uh, we have approved the master plan for the airport and uh, we are now developing the designs. We are making the mobilization of equipment and uh, people to um, work there. We, and we are uh, almost finished our set camp to start uh, as soon as possible uh, working hard in, the, in that project to finish in timeline. This only can be dealt uh, if you have a strong uh, network all together with the airport authority and the airport operator so far. Uh, fortunately enough, the company that we are uh, has a very strong distribution network and uh, we have capabilities to follow projects uh, from uh, stage one with our people all together. Uh, as a manufacturer, we have, uh, let's say, uh, an engagement towards the airport authority, which is to help them to build uh, uh, projects, whichever the size is. Uh, we know perfectly that the challenges that are coming right now are the capability to get return on investment when you have such, uh, let's say, ambitious programs. Uh, everybody wants to get his regional hub, everybody wants to get his, uh, his international hub, but no, uh, nobody can afford so far unless it is uh, worked on predictable figures. One of them is the capability to bring people to the airport so far. Figures are showing that there are a lot of people in Africa that are not traveling yet via airport facilities. They have to be brought, that means the price has to be done. We have to get uh, capabilities also to build uh, regional airlines. Uh, these are challenging uh, processes. Uh, security is one key among, uh, among the, the different issues that happen. But if you talk about uh, airport field uh, development, it's also because you have regional companies that are capable to serve the countries. You have smaller airports. And then I think that it will be a good solution for, for us uh, to, um, let's say, enhance the security from uh, East African and African continent as well. We have worked on approximately around 46,000 uh, coverage enhancement project and solutions globally, and which also covers, include around uh, 18, uh, 18 airports and a few metro underground tunnels as well. As you know that um, the communication is essential in all the airports industry. And when we talk from the infrastructure point of view, in fact, um, the, the, the revenue is really a challenge for most of the airports. That's a place, you know, where, you know, we pitch in that, you know, how do we improve the revenue of the airports and how do we, you know, uh, reduce the capex of the airports by meeting the requirements of the passengers. And of course, you know, Africa is going to be the boom for the next, uh, you know, uh, at least for the next two decades that, you know, you will find a, a lot of infrastructure development is going to happen in Africa. That's a, that's a prediction, you know, which we have been seeing across. And uh, with our experience of doing the projects like, you know, the telecommunication project, though it is done for the third party, we have provided our equipment to a third party here in KCC. And which was one of the you know cream project which you have completed within a short period of time in uh, Kigali Convention Center. I think the the big issue of Africa it's the the systematic political crisis in almost uh, countries. Uh, and uh, if we look, for uh, instance, for for Rwanda, that we are. Uh, we have here a uh, stabilized political uh, country, and that's why this, this new airport has make with the uh, with the perspective of grow around six percent per per year. Um, and I think if almost the countries here they are 
some stabilized uh, politics the all the all the africa have have good conditions to grow and and uh, pass that uh, 3% that you have uh, mentioned very interesting developments there in the aviation scene